Hi everyone. It's Tammy Jackson here. Sorry I'm a little late. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. Honestly, I really don't know. I'm a little late, but I'm a little late. Sorry about being a little late. I'm here. I'm here. Hi, guys. I gotta show you some of the stuff I've just gotten. Hi. Hello. Who we have joining us today? I gotta show you some of the some of the most awesome stuff I've gotten. My goodness. And a couple of stuff that I made. I made a couple of stuff too. So. Hi, Dark Dragon. How are you feeling? How are you feeling? Hmm. I did a uh, I did a chant for you. Did you see it? Have you gotten a chance to see it yet? Hi, Johnny. Oh. Well, you know what, Dark Dragon? I did a chant for you. Um, you know what's gonna what else, you know what else is gonna help that? Oh, you're welcome, Dark Dragon. Hi, Johnny. I'm doing fine. How are you? I was planning to stay on here a little bit longer, but you know something. Let me see. Yeah. I'll stay on here for a couple of minutes. I'll stay on here for a couple of minutes for you guys. Um, I I want to show you some of the most amazing things I got. First, I want to show you this beautiful bowl. I got this at the store, but I think I got it at Walmart. But what I, what I did was I painted it. I did my own little craft. I put my own little creation on there. So, and this one right here, this is the beautiful, um, painting and drawing of our, oh dear, great and powerful spirit horse. I love to do art. <laughs> yes, I heard them. They're so cute. I heard them. I heard your birdies. They're so cute. Is what a, is, was that a parrot? Was that a parrot? That sounded like a parrot. I think they were talking in the background. I think one of them was saying, Hi! Hi! They kept saying, Hi! Hi! I can hear that. I'm, oh my goodness, that is so cute. Oh my goodness, they are so cute. Those are some cute little birdies. I like parrots. They're adorable. I love all birdies, but those parrots, wow. I mean, those parrots, they can say just about everything. <laughs> they can say, hello. And I know you guys probably hear this a whole lot. Oh, you live on a farm? Hey, my family, my, my family owns a farm. Um, and Lincoln, from Lincoln, New Mexico? Oh, I didn't know you lived on a farm. Well, oh, where um, where do you live at? What what farm? What location is your farm on? Speaking of farms. <laughs> oh, Arkansas. Oh, oh wow, that's an amazing place. Oh, Arkansas is a nice place. That's amazing, Dark Dragon. Oh, that's awesome. I didn't even, I didn't know you for, uh, lived on a farm. That's amazing. Oh, Johnny. Oh, I know. You are going to do. You know what? Um, 
I th- you're going to be able to do it, Johnny. I think you're going to be able to do it. But when you do make it big, don't forget about all of us other people. And I want a VIP section, okay? <laughs> I would like a VIP section. <laughs> Hi, Kool-Aid Jimmy Live. Hey, Kool-Aid Jimmy Live. <laughs> yeah, Dark Dragon and I, we want a VIP section. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We're here to see Johnny Dragon and the Hollywood Dragons. We would like a VIP section, please. <laughs> front row seats. We want front row seats. Kool-Aid Jimmy Live, how you doing? Here's some more of my drawings. I um, I drew this one, I painted this one. Now this one is a gun. Okay, I painted this one as a gun, as a gun because it represents, you know, my family, you know, um, they weren't, they didn't go around shooting people. You know, there are um, heroes. They're more like heroes. This represents my ancestors. I don't know if you, uh, if you guys know who they are. You probably do, but um, um, my ancestors, they're called the Regulators. You probably even see their, seen their life story. You've probably seen their uh, life story you know, on the movies. If you've seen Young Guns, you know, that's what they were. Some of them went to med school. Yeah, that is cool. See, they're from Lincoln, New Mexico. That's where my whole entire family originated from, Lincoln, New Mexico. So I'd like to do a whole lot of um, background history and learning about my family and, you know, what they're about, what they did. Um, I'm also from a Native American uh, descendant bloodline of uh, Navajo. My Native American tribe is Navajo. So I, I learned about the Navajo and the uh, fry bread and everything like that. Well, I'm, the only thing I haven't been able to cook yet is fry bread. That's because I don't have a fryer yet. I can still do that on the stove. I can't wait. I want to do, that's something else that I want to cook. I want to cook fry bread. You know, I'm, I'm, I've never been able to cook fry bread and everything. If you guys can't hear me, sorry about the background. Okay. I think I need to turn that down a little bit. <laughs> oh, you you could tell I was in. You can tell I was Native American. Yeah, um, I'm Native American Navajo, and I always like to do a whole lot of uh, history and background, and you know I like to learn about them. I like to learn about my family, like um. Our way of life and how we live and the way we live, um, the hardships that our families had to go through and everything like that, you know, and the strength that came from all of that. I enjoy learning about my Native American heritage and bloodline and ancestors. It's very, it's really very interesting, you know. And people should really get to know who their, her, their family is and their bloodline, everything like that. Oh, what's your husky's name? What's her name? Yeah, husky. Oh, what's her name? Um, Dark Dragon. What's your baby's name? Oh, oh, you have two of them? Sassy and say, oh, that's so cute. You know, I have, um, I had a little baby, but, well, he's more like my nephew, but you know, he's just like my baby. His name was Snowden, but, um, um, unfortunately, I think it'd been better if he had been living with me, but he's with 
a whole lot of, you know, some bad people, you know, people that I didn't really get along with. I still don't get along with them. We've never gotten along, but, and, um, she, um, Snowden was living with them, you know, oh, I just want to take custody so bad, but, oh, oh my goodness, Dark Dragon, you're just an animal lover, aren't you? <laughs> you and I have that in common, you have that in common as well. <laughs> yep. But, um, let's see. Oh, here's the other one. Yeah, yeah, we have that in common. Both of us, we love our animals. We love our babies. Both of us on a farm. My family, they, you know, with their owners, I'm the descendant, so. Beautiful farm. That's not, I mean, it's kind of it's like a big farm. It's very beautiful there. Very beautiful there. <laughs> Yours too. Some, uh, some word of advice, Dark Dragon. Never go to cricket. I'm telling you, the phone is crazy. Oh, my phone's definitely got a mind of its own. I mean, just for no reason at all. Just for no reason at all, it'll just click off. I don't, I don't know why. I have no idea. I have no idea what the problem is. It'll just click off. It'll be working one minute, and in the very next second, it'll click off. It'll either go black or just, um, it'll turn off. Then I'll have to, uh, I'll have to turn it right back on again. I'll have to push a button and turn it right back on again. And I'm like, what in the world? What is the deal? What is going on here? Crazy phone? Oh, goodness. Hold on. <laughs> and just like my phone. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Dark Dragon, is that another thing we have in common? Both of us have crazy phones. He used to have a Sprint phone. I miss my Sprint phone. I want my Sprint phone back. Sprint phone, you can do just about anything on there. And the phone's not going to go crazy on you. That's one of the best parts. The phone is not going to go crazy on you. <laughs> oh. Oh, here's some more stuff. And here, right here. Let me hold it up so you can see it perfectly. There's my husband's name. And a cute little heart. Mikey. Yes. So these are like, these are like three of my most important things to me in my life. These are like three of the most important things to me in my life. Our, oh dear, great and powerful spirit horse. My ancestors and my uncles. The regulators. <laughs> oh, now, 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 dark dragon. Now, don't throw it in the trash can. Don't throw it in the trash can. Just work with it. Work with it. Work with it. Oh, believe me, I wanted to throw my, uh... Oh, my goodness, dark dragon. I adore... Horses. Oh my goodness. If I see a horse, I go, I'm just going to say it. I go goo goo gaga over a horse. I do. I love those beautiful horses. I just love the horses. My goodness. They're one of my favorites, as a matter of fact. One of my favorite, favorites of all time are horses. I love horses. I adore horses. My goodness. I wish there were more, you know, like, horse events down here and everything, but, hmm, not very much happens down here. <sighs> oh my goodness, there used to be so many, like, fairs and everything. Oh, oh my goodness, a beautiful little gray pony. Oh, Dark Dragon, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry. 
my goodness, I hate to hear about that. My goodness, I just love horses. I hate to hear about stuff like that. These awful people that Snowden, Snowden is a part Husky and a part German Shepherd, I think. Thank you, Johnny. Now, Dark Dragon and I, we still want um, VIP sections, front row seats. <laughs> yeah, um, these so these awful and mean, evil people that Snowden was living with. They they had Snowden. They had Snowden euthanized. You know, he was supposed to go in for, I guess he was supposed to go in for an operation or whatever. But she wasn't, they weren't taking care of him, and they know they weren't. Yeah, I really love that sweet little Snowden. And Snowden loved us to death. <laughs> yeah, he did, he loved us to death. But um, they weren't, the others, they weren't, um, by the way, the, the ones who were supposed to be so calmly taken care of Snowden, those were the warrior clan, so-called warrior clan. Yeah. Oh, they come down and feed them. That is, a, oh, that is so beautiful. That's great. That's awesome. Bet, oh my goodness. We get backstage passes too, Johnny. Thank you. You hear that? Uh, you hear that, Doc? Uh, Dark Dragon? You hear that? When Johnny makes it big, we're going to get front row seats, VIP section, and we're going to get backstage passes. Oh, my God. Oh, thank you, Johnny. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Yay! <laughs> We're going to get backstage passes. We're going to get front row seats. VIP section. <laughs> yeah, that's what they did to Snowden. I wanted so bad. I mean, I wanted so bad to take custody of him. I mean, we took care, better care of him. Yep. <laughs> yeah. We took so much more better care of him than they did. I mean, my goodness. I don't even... You should have seen how awful they were. I mean, how awful they really were to him. It's a good thing we protected him. Unfortunately, they have him euthanized. And I think they did that on purpose, I guess, to try to get to me. I know that that was gonna anger me, but my goodness, I can't wait till Johnny makes it big. Oh, that's so sweet. I'm glad we have people. See, we need more people like you guys. We need more people like you guys. You know, if we have more people like you guys, the world will be in a hell of a whole lot much more better shape much more better shape than what it is right now we have so many people who just don't care you know they hurt our beautiful little baby animals for what you know i mean why do they do it yeah i know right why do they do it i mean the only thing our animals want all our babies want is just love from us i mean it's like no matter how much you know these so-called humans hurt them and abuse them our beautiful animals, they always forgive them. No matter what, they always forgive them. Oh my goodness, I just, you know, I, when I see things like that, oh my goodness, like one time, um, I was sitting right outside the stairs, you know, right outside the stairs and everything, and, um, and I'm just sitting there and, you know, enjoying nature and everything. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Well, who was doing that to these children? Oh my goodness. Who? Dark. 
Dark Dragon, who is doing these to these babies? Alice Cooper. Joe Perry. Wow. Ooh. Johnny, my goodness. Oh, of course. Trump. Oh my goodness. Johnny, you're gonna be uh you're gonna be ready for the big time, aren't you? I can't wait till you make it big, Johnny. Dark uh Dark Dragon and I, we're gonna be up there. Front row seats. <laughs> we can't wait to get our backstage passes either. <laughs> Trump, of course, it's always Trump. You know what really makes me sick is tr Trump, he's always going on television denying it. Brenda! Hi, Brenda Kate, how are you feeling? Where are you being? Hi, Brenda Kate. Hi, Brenda Kate. Oh my goodness. Good, I'm glad you're doing better. You see, the chant worked, didn't it? Mm -hmm. I did a chant for you. The chant worked. Dark Dragon hasn't been feeling too good either. Queen, she's been feeling kind of sick, so I had to do a, uh, I did a chant for them. I, I did the uh, family healing chant for them. My goodness. Oh my goodness, your YouTube messes up too? Hmm. Are you on mobile phone? Cause I'm on um, I'm on cricket phone right now. Never get a cricket phone. This phone messes up on me like, oh my goodness. Yeah, that could sometimes. Th sometimes I can do that. It always it just messes up. I don't know what's wrong with my phone. I bet it's because it's cricket. It just shuts off. <laughs> it start acting all crazy and it'll shut off. My goodness, I have to turn it right back on. Oh, it's frustrating. It's just, it's, it's way too frustrating. No, I like um, a sprint phone much more better. <laughs> Yours? Dark Dragon, your phone gets hot like that? My phone doesn't really do that unless I'm like sitting outside in the sun or something. I don't know what it is. But this crazy cricket phone, this crazy cricket phone still likes to shut off on me. I don't know why. Oh, I'm trying to be so nice to my phone, and my phone is just giving me all kinds of problems. <laughs> it's shutting off on me. It's not cutting me any slack. Last time when I was trying to stream, I couldn't stream. I don't know why. I think it went to a... Yes, I have an altar, but I haven't finished it yet. I haven't finished it yet. Oh, as a matter of fact, let me show you some of the stuff that I am going to put on my altar. I have some more stuff I wanted to show you. Anyway, look what I got. Beautiful book, isn't it? Now this is one of the one of the uh, things that I'm going to set on my altar. Um, this is my animist witchy book. It's beautiful, isn't it? I really love the uh, front part of it. It's it's beautiful, isn't it? It's beautiful, isn't it? I really like the uh, the covering part of it. I love this part. It's just beautiful. You know, the stationery on the book, lovely. It's on the front, the back, right here on the sides. Oh my goodness, I just love it. It's beautiful. Now, this beautiful little animistic witchy book. This is one of the uh, one of the things that I'm going to be setting on my altar. I'm going to be using that on my altar. And also, you remember this beautiful bowl? Yes. The one with our old oh dear great and powerful spirit horse on there. My ancestors and my uncles, the regulators. I'm so proud. I'm so proud to be. I'm so proud to be their descendant. I am. I'm so proud of them. Um, and my husband, my Mike Mikey's name on there. And a cute little heart. <laughs> you guys remember this beautiful little bowl? Well, 
this is the other um, the other little major item that I'm going to be sitting on my altar. Now, um, I haven't begun to set my altar up yet because I don't have every everything that I need. I think I need a small cauldron, but I, can, I really can't find any more. Thank you. Thank you, Dark Dragon. Thank you. Those are just some of the things I'm going to be sitting on my altar. And I also want to show you guys this, I got my sage yesterday. Now, this is the other thing that I'm going to be setting on my altar. Beautiful sage. But I want to set it up there with the uh, morning glory. The morning glory stuff. Oh, my goodness. I want to get the morning glory seeds. I haven't been able to uh, locate them yet. But hmm. I think I'm going to try the uh, Walmart Super Center. They always have everything at Walmart. So I'm going to try that. If I can't do that, I am going to... Yes. Yes, these are just some of the things I'm going to be setting on my altar. I cannot wait. I can't wait to... Uh, as a matter of fact, I can't wait to show you guys my altar when I finish it. Oh my goodness, this is going to be so amazing. It's going to be so amazing. And these are some of the books that I haven't... Well, some of my witchy books that I haven't started on yet. I'm just now getting started on them. See, so they're, they're a little blank, so I'm just not starting on them. This one, wow. Illustration and writing. Okay, this one has the uh, both, let's see, like little, oh, yes, yeah, that's where I go. Yes, Dark Dragon, that's where I go. I go to Walmart. Sometimes I go to Dollar Tree if they have all the stuff. If they have anything I need up there. Well, I've seen some uh, candles up there, so I really got to get those candles. You know, the four elements, earth, air, fire, water. I love those. Oh, I have to get a pink candle, too. It's for, the pink candle is for my, uh, uh, my beauty spell. Yeah. I use the uh, pink candle for it. Um... The red candle, I use that one. I use the red candle for, for uh, my love spells and everything. So, or my chants, anything like that. But the black one, I really want to get that black candle too. Yeah. So the, uh, my black magic, uh, my black uh, candle, I'm gonna be using that for well, both black and white magic, so. So I'm going to be using that one for witchcraft. But I'm also going to be using that um, for both my spells and my channel. So I'm going to be using the, uh, the black one very, very much. Oh, wow. Really? Oh, my goodness. Dark Dragon, that is amazing. That is amazing. I always like to kind of, I, I guess I'm, I'm just, I'm used to doing that. I like to put my uh, the four elements of my candles together. Sometimes I like to put them with a black candle. Sometimes a pink one. <laughs> oh, the, those little, the, the little candy candles. Oh my goodness, I love those. Those candles are so beautiful. I love those candles. They're amazing. I like the uh, candy candles, and I also like the uh, the Yankee candles. I like the Yankee candles. I really like to get the the large one, but because they last a lot more longer. So I really need to get a cauldron and everything like that, so that way I can get my altar ready, so you guys will be able to see it. <laughs> Another thing that I want to show you guys is a little bit of my. Uh, arts and craftsmanship it's a little dress that a little dress that I uh, I'm a little dress I made I just started sewing it together it's supposed to be like a night dress or something like that you can wear it at night or it's elegant it's an elegant dress I haven't been able to paint it yet <laughs> 
Oh my goodness. Dark, uh, dark dragon. The midnight candle that you have. Is it like, is it kind of like dark black? Is it like a dark black uh, midnight candle? Oh my goodness. Those candles smell so good. They have those at, um, uh, the other Walmart, the little Walmart. Those candles smell so good. I love the smell of those candles. Oh my goodness, I just love those candles. Speaking of candles and elements, this is another thing that I wanted to show you guys. I kind of did a little craftsmanship on uh, our four elements. Earth. I don't know if you can see it very well. But that one's air. That's air. Air's right there. And this one, that one's fire. And this one right here, that one is water. I love doing these elements. I just love doing them. I love the elements. I think I'm really connected to the elements, you know. But this is just some of the stuff. Some of the other stuff I wanted to show you. My cute little elements, arts and crafts. <laughs> I made it. I made up. Yeah, that's the uh, the Earth sign right here. The sign right here. This is the Earth sign. So this is the sign of the Earth. And this one right here. I don't know if you can see it. I did this one in white. <laughs> hmm. I wonder if I should have done another color. But that one right there. That's the element of air. That's the air element. And this one right here. The element of fire. And this is a fire element. And then right down here, this is the element of water. Water element. These are, well, those are just some of the things. Oh, Johnny, you're welcome. Thank you for supporting me. Uh, Johnny, Dark Dragon, Brenda, everybody out there, all my subscribers. Thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing to me. Thank you for the kind comments, watching my videos, sharing and everything. Thank you guys so much. Oh, thank you, Brenda. I'm glad you like them. I'm going to have some more to show you guys next Saturday. So I'm really getting everything ready. <laughs> yeah, Dark Dragon, I kind of figured that out about you. I kind of figured that you like to work with dragons and fairies and elves. <laughs> oh, you're welcome, Dark Dragon. Oh, love you too, Brenda. Bye, Brenda. Thanks for tuning in. And thank you guys. Thank you to all, to all my subscribers, my supporters. I thank each and every, every one of you. And I'm so glad and proud and thankful for each and every one of you. And I love you guys to death. Hey, Lizette. It's nice of you to join us. Hi, Lizette. Oh, you guys, um, if you haven't subscribed to Lizette yet, subscribe. Her videos are so funny. My goodness. Oh, yes. Dark Dragon, it is so hot outside. But you know something? I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but I love when it's warm. It's hot outside right now. Um, I think it was like earlier. Earlier, it was like raining and everything. It was raining earlier. And then, and, I mean, now it's now it's hot. It's nice, hot, and dry. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's this climate thing. Hmm. I got a question mark about that. <laughs> it goes from rainy to hot. 
Hold the warm. But you know what? That's okay. I love both the sun and the rain. I love the rain. Some people don't like the rain. Some people don't like the rain. Hmm. Okay, Dark Dragon. You put me on the spot, but I got to say it. I do not like rattlesnakes. Oh, my goodness. When they shake the little tail, they're out to get you. Be very careful around them. I don't like rattlesnakes. I don't like serpents. Ooh, ooh, those serpents are just mean. They're just bad. Ooh, goodness. And I don't like cobra. Those snakes bite you just for no reason. Hmm. You're not even bothering those snakes, and they bite you. And it hurts. I've never been bitten, but I can just imagine. It hurts. And those little fangs, oh my goodness. Oh. Oh my. I would not want either one of those bad snakes to uh bite me. However, um, I do have to say, I do like some snakes. There are some snakes that I do like. Good ones. Like, um, okay, the snakes that I do like, I do like, um, uh, I like boa snakes. I like, um, poisonous asp. The poisonous asp snake. I do like those. A chicken snake? Hmm. Huh. Never heard of that. Chicken snakes. Hmm. Oh, wow. Hmm. That's interesting. Oh. Chicken snake. They were chicken snakes? I didn't know chicken snakes. Oh, my goodness. I didn't even know chicken snakes existed. Oh, oh, you mean those kind of snakes? Yeah. My goodness. You see, I told, I told you, there are mean snakes. No, 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 no. No, wait, let me rephrase that. Not all of those snakes are mean. Some of them are. But, um, like, that, um, the python. I love the python. Yeah, I like the python. I like the poisonous asp. I like the boa. Um... Let me see. I know it's some more. Though. I know it's some more snakes, but I'll probably think of them later. <laughs> then I'm going to come right back on YouTube and show you. <laughs> but those are some of the snakes that I do, I do like. I do like those snakes. Those are some of the snakes that I like. Okay. Uh, some of the snakes that I don't like. Some of the snakes I don't like. Oh. Dark Dragon, you have a pet turtle too? Oh. What's your turtle's name? What's your turtle's name? Hmm. You know, I think there's... I think there is you dollar. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. That's a good name. Hold on one second, please. I will be right back. Please enjoy this beautiful. Please enjoy this beautiful movie until I get back.
Do they stir our nature by Olaf's favor? That must be the truth. Also, you're so smart. You must be beyond. You've been sitting in that mouth too long. It's possible to overdo it. Oh, by the way, thanks for that talk with you. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. Just a little interruption. Man. I'm telling you. Just, um... <laughs> Thank you, Dark Dragon. <sighs> Sorry about that. That was a little minor interruption. <laughs> That will never happen again while I am streaming. <laughs> um, oh. oh, his name is Dollar. Well, that's a beautiful name. That's a, that's a pretty name for uh, a cute little turtle. Have you guys seen Richie uh, Rich? Have you guys ever seen Richie Rich? You know, with Macaulay on there? He plays as um, Richie Rich, and he has this cute little adorable uh, little uh, baby doggy, and his name is Dollar. His name is Dollar, too. That's a cute name for a cute little baby. You've seen a Dark Dragon. You love that movie? I love that movie, too. Oh, my goodness. That's one of my favorite ones. One of my favorite ones is Richie Rich. And this funny little comedy. <laughs> Invasion of the Body Snatchers. This is very interesting. It's a good movie. It's very fun. It's fun to watch. It's fun to look at and everything. <laughs> hey, Johnny, you have a, uh, a vampire CD? Huh. What? I mean, who's on the CD? What name? What names are on the... Uh, Vampire CD. I don't have a vampire CD. I want a vampire CD. <laughs> hey, Johnny, where did you get that, um, where did you get that vampire CD from? Where'd you get that vampire CD from? <laughs> I want a vampire CD. I didn't, I don't have one. Hmm. That's not fair. <laughs> vampire CD. I didn't even, I didn't know they had vampire CDs out like that. Hmm. 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 What? What? Uh, where did you get the uh, the vampire CD at, Johnny? Finish my blank uh, books. <laughs> Dark dragon. Oh my. Oh my goodness. Well, what is everybody else up to? What are you guys up to? What do you guys have planned for the summer?
I think I might do some kind of a smoothie uh, concession stand or something like that. Or maybe make some popsicles and do a popsicle stand. Something like that. <laughs> don't worry. Dr uh, Dark Dragon, don't worry. Um, drink lots of water. I mean, drink a whole lot of drink. Whole, drink a whole lot of water. And rest. I've already done a chant for you. Now all you have to do is just drink lots of water. Drink lots of fluids. And drink lots of water. Drink a whole lot of water and then rest. You will be feeling better in no time. You'll be feeling better in no time. <laughs> yes, but dark, dark dragon, dark dragon. I promise you, it's worth it. It's worth it. I drink a whole lot of water. Maybe that's why I went to the restroom a whole lot. <laughs> I love drinking water. Oh, that's another thing. I want to show. You. Oh my goodness. This is one of the purest waters in the world. Let me see. Ozarka. Have you guys ever heard of Ozarka? It's the most purest water straight from the earth. It's the most purest water in the world. Right here. See? Born for quality. The pure quality, unique taste of Ozarka brand spring water comes from carefully selected springs filtered naturally beneath the earth. That's amazing, isn't it? That is awesome, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I well, I don't really drink too much tea, but if I do drink it, I'll drink like green tea and everything. I don't know. I think I think I'm like this little I'm I'm this little organic kind of person. I'm this little organic girl. I even have to have my uh my soaps and everything. They have to be organic or I won't use them. <laughs> I like to drink mine ice cold too. Because if you drink it hot, then, you know, you will have a, a hot flash. That's happened to me, too. Hmm. Mm-hmm. So that's why I was getting hot like that. I was getting very, kind of, felt like I was getting very dehydrated. Kind of uh, dehydrated. I have to be very careful. Oh, you know what? I love that, too. Dark Dragon, you're right. Uh, putting your tea in lemon and honey. Oh my goodness. That is very um, amazing. That's amazing. And you know something? That will cure a sore throat. Or if you have the flu, that will also help um, cure the flu too. I've had sore throat before. Hmm. But me, um, I, always, I always put the tea or um, and the uh, lemon together then i put the honey on the but um i also do my chanting with it uh, so i get a, a sore throat it's not it's not very easy you know because it sounds like i've lost my voice <laughs> so uh, sometimes i have to uh <clears throat> kind of put on the music i have to put the music on and then, um, while I'm sitting there listening, I'll kind of, I'll take my tea and drink it now. You drinking vanilla Coke, Johnny? Hey, where'd you get some vanilla Coke from? I like vanilla Coke. That vanilla Coke is very good. Hmm. 
verses. Hmm. And is it like, is it fake? Is it, um, is it artificial fur? Is it fake fur? Hmm. Dark dragon? Dark dragon, is that a, is that a fake fur? Oh, okay. Okay. Hmm. You know what? I I go to the mall, the permanent mall, and I see a whole lot of that um that fake fur around there. Like that's as long as it's not real fur. As long as it's not real fur. I don't know, a whole lot of people are very touchy about fake fur too. As long as it's not real fur. <laughs> Is artificial fur fake fur? I mean, I don't, you know, me, I don't, I don't wear fur at all. I never have. I've always been, like, more, yeah. Now, the fake fur is a lot, it's it's, it's a lot It's a lot more softer. I've been to the uh, mall, and they, they carry it everywhere in their, their clothing store and everything. And I kind of felt it a little bit. It's a lot more softer. Whereas the, uh. I don't like to wear fur at all. I hate when people just wear minks and, you know, because that's um, fur from our animals. That's fur from our babies. You know, our babies get poached for that. I mean, ugh. You know, there is fake fur people. <laughs> they can wear the fake fur. But, yes, the fake fur is a lot more softer than the real one. The real one's a lot more... Well, it feels a lot more uh, rougher and everything. It has a little rough, hard texture to it. Mm. I don't like the uh, the real fur because they take it from our animals. It's just no good. You know, what good is it? You know, if, I mean, if we're taking fur from our our animals, what I mean, what good is it? Oh no, Dark Dragon! Oh my goodness! You had to kill a possum? Hmm. How did the possum get in there? Oh, not the possum. Oh no, not the cute little possum. Mm. Oh, the possum was in the bucket? The baby must have jumped in there, probably hiding from somebody. Hmm. I wonder how it ended up, I wonder how that uh, baby possum ended up in a... The possum was? Oh. Huh. I wonder why the baby would do that. Now, why would a possum want to do that to a cute little baby chicken? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Johnny, you make stuff with a clay bake? You make stuff with clay bake? Oh, what kind of stuff do you make? What kind of stuff do you make with clay bake? What kind of stuff do you make um, with cake, with clay bake, Johnny? I like to use my hands. I don't know why. I, I guess it's the organicness of it. I can actually say, well, I made this myself. I did this myself. Rather than to say, well, they did this. I just bought it. They made this. I just bought it. Oh, oh, dark dragon. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. 
Oh my goodness. Oh, the poor babies. Are the baby chickens okay? Are the babies okay? Or are the other babies okay? Okay. Oh, good. Well, I'm glad the other babies are okay. The poor possum baby. The poor baby possum. I'm glad the other babies are all right. As long as they're okay. If you guys can hear that plane, I'm very sorry about that. It's very loud. It always does that every couple of minutes. Oh my goodness. Uh oh, time to drink some more water. <laughs> mm. I wonder if they're looking for somebody. Why do they keep circling around like that? Oh. Man. Oh. Hmm? Well. Well. Oh, okay. Oh, they're getting, they're big now? Oh. Yeah, see, my goodness. Now, if you think the baby chickens are going to be huge, wow. You know a guy who, um, he, uh, took care of the, uh, like baby turkeys? Oh, my goodness. And he, he took care of them and raised them and fed them and everything. Wow. And see, the mamas, they would get very protective. Uh, they get very protective of their babies. <laughs> and we get, you know, we got to be very careful. We got to be very careful around the uh, mama chickens. We have to, get, we have to be very careful around the daddy chickens too. Those roosters are very protective of their babies. We really, to be quite honest, we really have to be careful with the uh, little baby animals because, you know, their mamas. And daddies, they, they tend to uh, protect their babies. That's how they are. You know, that's understandable. Understandably, they try to protect their babies. But, I mean, they know you're not going to hurt their babies. They don't have a problem with that. If they know you're not going to hurt their babies, they will not try to attack you. But they they uh, they do attack on the defense. They attack. They all, they're always trying to protect their babies and keep their babies from being hurt. Yeah. That's all it is. Kind of like we protect our babies. <laughs> if a stranger was trying to uh, come up to our babies and, you know, they were trying to hurt our babies. Or somebody was trying to come up to our babies and try to beat them up or try to bully them. We would jump. We would jump right to their, their defense. Within a drop of an eye, just like that, we would we would uh, jump right to our, our baby's defense and defend them. We would protect them. We would protect them. The same way that the animals protect their babies, that's the same way we protect our babies. Our other babies. Our beautiful little babies. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if I should do... If I should like start out a start a uh, cooking show, hmm. I wonder should I? I'm not a sh I'm not I mean I'm not a gourmet chef or anything like that. I'm learning how to do it, but I'm not a gourmet chef. Hmm. I wonder if I should do that. I'll put it on YouTube. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> dark oh my goodness oh, oh my goodness dark dragon 
That's a beautiful place. That's okay. Having a zoo as a home is beautiful. It's an enchantment and connection with nature. <laughs> That's beautiful. Oh, thank you, Johnny. Thank you, Johnny. Yes, but uh, Dark Dragon, living in a zoo, living in a home that's a zoo, that is beautiful. You have all these beautiful babies that you're surrounded of, you're surrounded by. Oh, you have a Gina pig? Oh. You know, you kind of remind me of uh, Sharon Zoo. Have you seen her... Uh, have you seen her YouTube channel? You kind of remind me of Sh uh, Sharon Zoo. She's got a whole lot of babies. Birds and cute little kitty cats and a cute little pig. Oh, you have a guinea pig? Oh my goodness. I used to work at this daycare um, called, um, it was called Joe's Complete Image. Then she, and she switched it up and she switched it to a Joe's Kid Zone. I used to work I used to work there. Well, at first it was called Complete Image. Then she switched it up, and she called us Joe's Complete Image. Ha, 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 LMA. LMA claimed it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. I would definitely put you as an LMA. Oh, my goodness, because you like... You live on a farm, you know, you love animals, you love to take care of animals, you adore animals. Just try not to kill the possums. Oh! <laughs> Ella May. Who nicknamed you Ella May? That's a good name for you, Ella May. That name fits you perfectly. You're just like another Ellie May. And she loves taking care of her, um, her babies her animals, and she had this uh, beautiful little baby monkey. Oh, I forgot his name. Yep, your mom and dad did perfectly right by nicknaming you Ellie Mae. That name suits you perfectly, Dark Dragon. Because <laughs> you love, I mean, you love babies and everything. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Johnny's got a cute little uh black a cute little baby black cat. She's so adorable and playful and everything. She is so cute. Johnny, how is your cute little baby kitty doing? How's your cute little baby kitty doing? She's very playful. Hmm. You have a new uh, new YouTube channel, Johnny? You do? Mm -hmm. I do, too. I put on another one. That one is for saving animals. <laughs> yeah, Dark Dragon, you should check it out. That cute little adorable baby kitty is so cute. And she's so playful. You know, she's very playful. I'm very playful. You hold up like a string or something like that, or baby yarn. She likes to play around with it, like uh, grab at it with her cute little paws like this. She'll grab at it and play with it. So, she's so cute. She's very tiny though. She is. She's very tiny. She's, she's like a little cute little, uh, cute little black baby kitty. She is so tiny. She's like a little baby kitty. But she's very sweet. She's adorable. She's adorable. Yep. Oh, oh goodness. Hold on.
Mm, okay. Oh my goodness. Dark dragon? Your hu your husky? Your husky just passed? Oh my goodness. Hello? Yes. Oh no, what happened to her? What happened to her? Oh, she just passed. Oh, she just passed by your bed. Okay. Okay. Oh, she just walked past you. Oh, my goodness. I almost had a... Oh, my goodness. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, my goodness. I almost had a, uh, a little attack there. I'm just, oh, my goodness. No. No. Not that beautiful baby husky. She was just here a couple of minutes ago. No. Okay. Oh, okay. She passed by your bed. Okay. Hey, Dark Dragon. Um. Uh, uh, Dark Dragon. Johnny, um. If you guys show. Like, you little. Your, uh. Your babies. Your animal babies. And I'll be more than happy to, um, I'll be more than happy to subscribe to those channels, too. I'll share them around, too, so everybody else can see you guys' um, YouTube channels. And then they can join up, and they, they can subscribe. Oh. Oh, goodness. Okay, Dark Dragon and Johnny. I'm getting ready to get off of here. And I'm going to rest a little bit after I eat. <laughs> I'm going to go get something to eat right now first. But after that, I'm going to rest. But I want to say thank you, Dark Dragon. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you, Brenda K., for dropping in. And thank you to all my subscribers and supporters. Thank you guys for supporting me. Thank you to all my subscribers and supporters. And thank you guys very much. I love you guys so very much. And I will see you later. I'll see you later. Bye.